Hi everyone, my name is Zani. I'm an artist, singer, songwriter, and a performer. And I'm signed to Dome Fit Music, AKA Dome Records. And I'm right here at Blueprint Africa TV to tell my Enugu story, okay? So just chill. Well, Enugu is a nice city, it's a nice place, and but it can get a bit boring sometimes. For example, I was trying to look for a nice location to shoot my video, and I couldn't find any nice place. If I go to Obara Square, they'll be like, ah, this is Obara Square. If I go here, like places are, you know, few chill spots in Enugu. Yeah, so it can be boring sometimes. I'm a foodie. So one thing I really like about Enugu is the abacha. I love the abacha with Ogba and all those things. I'm not really a fan of Ogba. Sorry, no offense. Yes, fake life is a big thing here in Enugu. Okay, so you can see someone look good to impress people, but the person don't get shishi. You get, and it's something I see both in male and in females. It's not just a one-sided thing. You get so fake life is if you if you're not, if you're not fake, it's hard for people to like accept you. If you're being too real, it'd be like this person don't get standard or this person doesn't have class. Like it's an actual place, right? Is it multi roundabouts? Oh my god! <laughs> Yay! Not much. You just have to look good, dress sexy. They don't really care sometimes about what's up here. They just want to see you. It's not hard, like I said. Just look good, neat, fix your nails, look all fancy, you know, and you've gotten them, basically. One name, Maka, equal to a pencil. Yeah, that was crazy. There's actually one incident that actually got to me. I met this guy and we started talking. I didn't know he was engaged already. And he didn't tell me I didn't have any clue at all. He was all, I'm single, blah, blah, blah. And then I turned him down. Maybe it was God talking to me. Fast forward later, I see his wedding invitation and the date has been fixed. And I was like, thank God I dodged that bullet. That was crazy. Basically, Enugu has this thing about, you know, if you're a girl and you're a fine girl, they expect you to, you know, be a certain way to live a certain kind of lifestyle. And when you don't meet up to that expectation, you're going to be like, ah, this one is a Drew girl, that kind of vibe. Speaking from experience, when I go to club, you know, I don't really drink, I don't smoke, I'm sorry. No, why am I even apologize? I don't even need to apologize to anyone. So when I tell like my friends, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I they look at me like, you're doing music, you should, it's a must, that kind of thing. But it's not, okay, I make good music and that's, what matters. Being a female artist in Inugu. Well, I don't really see myself as an Inugu Inugu artist because I have this global mindset. I want to tour the world. I want to do great things. And Inugu is more like a training place for me. As an artist in Inugu, I'm training myself. I'm preparing myself. I'm working hard, you know, getting my stuff ready to show the world what I have. Positive reactions. I haven't really gotten any bad feedback from you know, Enugu fans. It's all love over here. Well, first off, I would really love to see unity because I get this vibe that everybody's just doing their own thing and nobody cares. And we don't really have the likes of the Jazzy here or the likes of Olami Day that are willing to go the extra mile for their artists. And believe me, we have so many talented artists right here in the East. We have our own Shake, 
yeah and you know so many great talents so i really love to see more you know big guys invest in young talents right here because most of them are always interested in their businesses real estate but i need them to see the music industry as a business also the same way they take you know their real estate and stuff thank you for having me blueprint africa tv i really love to do this again and again and again and again catch you later bye